another episode of From the A B to S C B. Well, as you can tell, I started recording halfway to work. Uh, the reason is just trying to start a recording at a different view. Uh, last time I started around Palmdale on 10th Street West. Now I'm. Uh, that was acting exit, but yeah, this is uh, I think roughly about a halfway point to getting to SCB and check it out. There's no, not much traffic, so that's pretty cool. Yesterday, on the other hand, uh, I was ridiculous. I can only assume how it's gonna be like today on the way back. Um, this whole side it was just bumper to bumper um, yeah it was, it was pretty bad it sucked but on the flip side of that had in and out <laughs> a double double of course with light grilled onions I asked for pickles on that like Dane Cook says, the pickles, the pickles. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, so I had that for dinner. It was pretty cool. Something different uh, to what I, you know, usually eat at home. So that was pretty cool. Um, which brings me to my question to you: What is your favorite burger joint? Um, Growing up, I was a uh, over at Venice, uh, you know, like Venice Beach, California, not Venice, Italy. Um, and it bummed me out when I found out because, well, I regularly go to Venice with the wifey. Um, it was a burger joint called Thomas Burgers. And it was on Lincoln Avenue and Rose uh, Avenue or but that was across street, you know, over in Venice. And I've been going to that same burger joint since I was a kid. Um, you know, back in 90, 92 when we moved out there. You know, um, there was this little burger joint and babysitter at the time. Uh, they were like elderly. So they'd go to Thomas Burger for uh, breakfast and I guess that was their like their morning routine was to to go there and he get his like you know like a, a turkey sandwich or it was French toast whichever whichever the case would be for his breakfast but they would you know take us there you know, because obviously they can't leave us behind in, in, uh, in their apartment. So I got hooked. Uh, you know, their fries are great, and then uh, they had arcade machines. And, you know, every kid's, I guess, dream, in, in, a, in a way, when it came to like, oh, I'm eating junk food, what? Uh, so I, I'd eat the fries, because they didn't want the fries they give me the fries um, so I just order like a little cheeseburger or what have you and play on the arcades um, usually Galaga so about seven years ago I think now um, on one of my visits with to Venice with the white bean uh, show up and I'm like hey well, well you know our usual let's, let's go hit up Thomas Burgers and, and then we head back home Oh, we went there, and it's closed, and it's look it's looking vacant, but in a manner where uh, it wasn't all ripped all out, you know, just completely empty building. They had their equipment still there. Um, they still had their tables, and I'm like, uh, maybe they're remodeling, but from the looks of it, it's not. I got really bummed because I mean, hey, I've been going there since I was a kid, and in all the years in between, even when I lived in Lancaster, uh, 
when my wife and I were dating, I took her there, you know, went to Venice Beach on our dates, and I'd be like, hey, let me show you a really good burger joint. I've been coming here since I was a kid. Uh, you know, to me, it's like in and out because it has that, you know, that the memories that I have there and uh, everything else, living there and kid, you know, growing up and all that stuff. Uh, fortunate, fortunately, we got to uh, go there when my wife was pregnant. So my little one, uh, I guess you could say we, we were able to have some uh, Thomas burgers together at least once. Uh, so yeah, so you know, they're closed, I'm bummed out. Uh, and yeah, that, that was the reason why I came up with that question is, uh, what's your, your your favorite burger joint, you know? And, and uh, I mean, why why is it your favorite burger joint? I'm, I'm sure the food, is, you know, the burgers, all it's great and all, but I mean, what made it great? Like, you know, did you share like a, a kick-ass memory with that burger place? And therefore, if it's a chain, you go, you know, you're loyal, and if you're at a state or out of the city and you find it, you go there. Uh, or, you know, maybe it's just convenient. But man, these roads suck right now. What the hell? See that pothole? I'm sure there's uh, <laughs> worse streets like maybe Dead Smack LA. I know that. God. Cars always take a beating there, but. Uh, but yeah, guys. So, as you can see, I'm. Um, almost in Santa Clarita, which means I'll be pulling over, I'll be taking the exit soon. Usually I take Via Princesa, uh, if it's empty like this, all the way through, then I take Golden Valley. Look at this car. Damn. I know you're gonna, some of you are going to be like, ah, it's just a Honda, Honda fan, blah, 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 but I mean... I get to see some sick cars here. Uh, of course, the Audi R8, when it was coming out, I was driving next to one because there was traffic, not because my my beat-up car was so fast it kept up with it, even though it'd be nice. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've seen some Audi R8s, uh, Lambos. It, it's really weird because I, I just assume they're either going to Vegas or they're just hitting up uh, Willow Springs, which is like maybe a half hour north from Lancaster. So usually that's my exit right there, but it's pretty empty. So I'm, I chanced it and I'll be taking Golden Valley exit. Uh, they're doing some kind of construction there. Hopefully you'll see that too. But uh, yeah, so Thomas Burgers. I, I'm sad and it sucks that they closed. I can, I guess, I can uh, kind of relate to uh, to Brett and Link from Good Mythical Morning. Which, by the way, you guys are great. I like you guys. You're awesome. Watch you all the time. Uh, when they were doing their uh, ocean spray, I believe. Um, no, Canadian, uh, that, that Canadian drink, and, you know, they're like, we were growing up with these drinks, and then they went, they went out, they stopped making it, uh, and then they had, they were doing, the uh, the awareness, and, uh, you know, to pledge, I think it was 20,000 or 30,000 that the company needed, and they were gonna, you know, make the crates, and, and what have you, but you know, hopefully something like that happens with my burger joint. You know, they bring it back or or something. But oh man, usually the exit is not this bad. But uh, but yeah, guys, uh, and gals, let me know what what your favorite burger joint is and uh, why. Uh, you know what memories you got with it and yes I actually have the radio on so hopefully it's not in too intrusive or YouTube you know like 
blockhead, but it's a uh, credit. I'll, I'll give the credit just in case. Uh, it's a FM radio station. Hundred point. It should be a hundred point three if I'm not mistaken, but here in Santa Clarita, it's a hundred point one. The sound with Mark in the morning, and it used to be uh, Uncle Joe when I came across the radio station, and I guess Mark is returning to the radio station. Uh, the sound, but yeah, shout out to them too because they're they're cool. Um, good classic rock and stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Let me know what's your favorite burger joint and why. Alright guys, see you later. This has been an episode of From the AB to SCB Commute. See ya.